what we're actually trying to solve with inventory tracking. It's quite a broad problem because it can apply to many, many different industries. Uh, and it, uh, inventory tracking is a problem from getting it from a distribution center to a customer or a warehouse to another warehouse. It's, it's a lot of logistics, and we're trying to see where we can find inefficiencies that we can try and you know, try and make it better. Um, so who has this problem? So we're mainly focusing on the business side, not really customer, just regular people. Um, and we're focusing on sort of the uh, industries that provide um, goods. Um, there are a couple ones here that provide services to people. We're focusing on food um, as goods. Uh, so for example, we have groceries, restaurants, food banks, meal, pre meal prep services, uh, retail and furniture uh, stores. And so for a lot of these, our end users ideally would be the low level employees. So your stalkers, your uh, receivers, um, people like that. Either at the store, at warehouse, or just here and there. Um, and for most of these, it's, it's simple as tracking what comes in and what goes out. So we're trying to focus. So our first feature, our first focus will be uh, food banks. Um, so, for example, the Houston Food Bank. Uh, and we believe that as a nonprofit organization, they don't have the resources or the money uh, or the time to sort of put all their efforts on the logistics of getting uh, of receiving food that, for one, they're not really expecting as like groceries like Kroger do. You know, they make invoices, um, they make a list of what they're expecting. But these food banks, they just receive the, the foods that anyone brings in and deliver. Um, so we believe this is a, an efficiency that we can target and uh, find solutions for. Okay, so for our list for who should we talk to and where to find them, we kind of took a reverse approach where because we don't have a specific problem yet and inventory tracking is a super broad category, we generated a list of questions for information specifically that we wanted to get, and then we look backwards from there to the subcategories of where and from whom we can get that, that information from. Um, so obviously the most important one would be the employees, and uh, this would be employees in any market segment we target, either at grocery stores or whatever, uh, just because they're <coughs> at the point of, the, the pain point of, of, or the point of frustration, um, in terms of they're the ones restocking stuff, they're the one emptying out pallets, they're the ones doing all that kind of stuff. Um, so that would help us in terms of narrowing down the problem specifically. And then we would move to a uh, more sort of mid-level managers um, in terms of customer interviews and asking questions and things like that, just because we felt that they would be more in charge of, as compared to the employees, um, implementing changes in workflow and processes when it comes to logistics. Um, and then we also threw on uh, professionals in industries dealing with supply chain management and logistics, just because uh, they, even if they're not necessarily directly related to the market segment we're targeting, there might still be viable information to get in terms of inefficiencies in the industry in general. And finally, um, small business owners as its own category, uh, we felt was a good one just because small business owners are oftentimes uh, a lot more accessible and reachable. And the, the scale at which they operate is often a lot smaller, so it might be easier to spot the efficiencies there as well. Um, and then in terms of where do we find them? Um, so the most obvious is visiting things like grocery stores, for example, and just observing people as they work. Uh, maybe we thought about potentially visiting towards later in the day when uh, restocking and things like that are going on. Um, and again, it's not directly related to food banks, but we felt that because larger grocery chains and things like that have more resources to develop their supply chain problems, they may have to potentially solve problems that the food bank has food bank just doesn't have the same amount of resources to develop those problems, so we might be able to find a cheaper, better way for the food bank to do it. Um, yeah, and then also, obviously, volunteering at the food bank would give us access to sort of being there and seeing what's going on and then talking to employees and things like that as well. Regarding the questions you can ask them, um, we're trying to go both the organic questions but also the uh, direct questions that might help us understand the problem better as well. Um, questions such as what would you deem as success in your inventory tracking process, for example, would allow the person to know a certain way of focusing what they deem as important. Um, and questions like maybe one or two would be a little bit more specific, 